So next experiment for this exam for lab for six semester student it is the Stephen Boltzmann apparatus. So in this experiment we are going to find out Stephen Boltzmann constant. So before going to this Stephen Boltzmann constant, first we know what you mean by radiation. Radiation is the transfer of heat without any media from one surface to the another surface through the magnetic waves. So this radiation heat transfer it is uh, directly depends upon directly proportional to surface area and fourth power of the temperature. By equating this, while we know that proportionality, we will get one constant. That constant is known as Stephen Boltzmann constant. So in this experiment, we are going to find out this uh, Stephen Boltzmann constant. So in this apparatus, actually inside this chamber, we have the hemispherical bow. So that I will explain during the calculation how it will be the shape. This is the closed shape, so that transfer of heat will become only through the radiation. And so inside this we will have the hemispherical uh, bow. Next we will have the water uh, tank where we are heating the water tank around 70 degrees centigrade. So heater will be provided and temperature will be measured. So from this uh, heater we are setting this temperature to the thermostat for 70 degree. So 70 degree. Next uh, we have the indicator, temperature indicator. So where we are seeing T1 to T3 that is the hemispherical temperature inside this chamber then uh, T4 will be the specimen temperature. So inside this specimen we are providing one specimen. So that temperature we are going to measure that is T4 and T5 will be the water bath temperature. So T5. T5 will be the water bath temperature. Once it reaches uh, 70 degree centigrade, so automatically this will turn off the heater and we will maintain the 70 degree constant temperature. So here water will come from uh, here and it is going to the inside the hemispherical bow. From that it is going over here, overflow will be there. So it is going over here and one drainage will be there. So before starting the experiment, we have to check uh, there won't be any water uh, inside this uh, chamber so we have to check that one so we have to open this one and we have to suck this air so that we can check whether the water content is there or not we have to check so after that we have to close this drain and we have to open this knob and then uh, after reaching 70 degree this water will come over here and next it has to go through this overflow once it is going through this overflow that uh, either this knob or this knob we have to close so that water will continuously flow over here. So any one knob you have to close. So in this experiment how we are going to conduct this uh, Stephen Boltzmann? We are supplying the heat that is M into Cp into dt that is temperature difference with respect to time that is equated to your radiate heat transfer that is nothing but sigma into area into temperature difference that is in terms of fourth power Ts to the power 4 minus T infinity to the power 4. So while equating these two we have to note down the temperature with respect to time that is dt divided by dt small t that temperature we have to note down. So once it reaches 70 degree so we have to measure this T5 temperature with respect to time. So each 30 second with respect to your uh, digital stopwatch, each 30 seconds we have to measure the T5 temperature with respect to digital stopwatch. So each 30 seconds we have to keep on measure the temperature. So once it reaches that uh, particular limit, means uh, it will keep on increases this T5. After a particular time, it will start to maintain that temperature, then it will decrease. So when it reaches that maximum temperature, till that you have to note down the your T5 value. After noting down the all the temperatures, then you have to calculate by equating the equation heat uh, from your uh, uh, water is equal to heat radiated from the surface. So by equating that to equation, we will come to know what is the Stephen Boltzmann constant for this apparatus. So in this way, we are going to find out the Stephen Boltzmann constant from this experiment. So this is how it works. Thank you.